Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. This is Douglas Hartman with Airbrush Artistry and we're back at Mr. Demon Skull Texture City <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, again, I'm, I'm just picking up uh, where I left off the day before. Uh, actually, it was, actually, it was yesterday. Um, and so again, um, <clears throat> to recap, doing a Demon Skull on paper. Uh, I'm using, let's see if I can get this, the Awada HPB Plus. It has the 0.2 millimeter needle and nozzle set up. Um, you know, it has a smaller cup. Um, and other than that, it's just exactly like the same body shape and everything in style as the HPC Plus. But... Uh, I'm running about, I dropped my air pressure a little bit uh, compared to yesterday. Yesterday I was running about 15, and I noticed when I was getting up close, um, I was getting a little bit of uh, spider webbing. Um, and that's all that is, is essentially when you get real close up like that. Um, and if you're not m moving quick enough, uh, essentially the, the, the air coming out of the airbrush um, hits the wet paint and it causes it to. Psh spiderweb but anyway um, I'm gonna be using the distilled water as reducer just like before and still using the illustration paints gray and um, but yeah so uh, I'm gonna work my way up in here and then work on this this part of his um, you know the bone around his, his eye and everything and again, one thing I need to, to pay attention to is light source. So light source is going to be coming down from above in the front, probably about, I don't know, maybe not 3 o'clock, noon, maybe about maybe about the 2 o'clock position or something like that, or, or you know, 1 o'clock or whatever. And um, not, you know, high noon or thereabouts. But, but um, so when I, when I get up in here, um, not at first. At first, I'm just I'm just establishing more shapes and forms with value changes. But once I get this laid in, then I have to really take a look at. Um, okay, this area compared to this area right here. Overall, which area is going to be lighter in value, and which area is going to be darker in value? Um, you know how do these the horns come out of his head. How does it affect? Is there going to be a uh, you know a shadow coming down from those horns? Um, and that's something you need to pay attention to is the surrounding shapes and forms, how they affect um, their surrounding shapes and forms from the light source. Um, but yeah, and so little details like that really help. Uh, your your painting that you're doing and it's establish just a little bit more realism to it and it just it just helps out in the long run uh, and it makes it look more cohesive and it just makes it look correct <laughs> and um, and so when you do that you have to be consistent through the whole uh, your whole painting or drawing or whatever is having a consistent light source. Um, so anyway, let's enough of me jibber jabbering, and you got excuse. I still got. Um, I, I just I came home from work, you know what? And I was like, you know what? Instead of getting in the pool today, I'm just gonna go right downstairs before I take a shower, and jump on the airbrush real quick and get get going. So. I'm going to do this for maybe about another another hour and um, take a shower, hop in the pool, and uh, and chill out, man. <laughs> we got the grandkids this coming weekend in, in Dungeon. i got to prep for a Dungeons & Dragons session, too. So anyway, here's a reducer. Again, I've always mentioned this. These guys here, these little bottles, you get them on Amazon. I think I got a bag of them, or about 40 of them for like 13 bucks, and they're great. And so today I'm also, besides reducing my air pressure, um, 
I'm going to do like what I did with the uh, my uh, Awada Takumi. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put uh, one, two, three, four. Go ahead and put five drops of reducer in there. And uh, two, ten drops of already reduced 50% Payne's Gray illustration color. And put ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just to see um, how it flows compared to yesterday. One thing you got to remember, and I've done this before too, is with these type of, of tops, these these you know, that it is unscrew like that, and you got to remember to close them back down. Because there's been plenty of times where I've I've gone and just I start shaking it and paint's flying everywhere and I realize you know that I didn't close it back up and uh, but yeah I got my my sponge from yesterday it fell underneath the the easel there and uh, got that recovered so again how I back flush most a lot of people just pinch the needle with their fingers again I've stabbed myself I don't know how many times and his little needles are sharper and you know what but um, you know, I use one of these guys here. You can use like a cosmetic sponge. This is like a little craft sponge I got from Walmart or whatever, and just stick it in there and then give it a pinch and press down and pull back, and you can see it bubbling up. And you want to be careful too, because uh, if you have a lid on, you know, they have a hole. Uh, sometimes, you know, a bubble will come out and pop, and you'll get paint. Um, over your whatever you're painting and not where you want it to so I'll do that a couple times I want it go back down just like that easy peasy nice and easy and I'll go ahead and you know to my right I have another little easel uh, with some more uh, masonite which is this you know the board I've got this taped to, or hard board, or whatever you want to call it, and I've got some, you know a piece of paper up there that that I um, I always use. And then, for those of you who don't know how I do, take care of tip dry. One of these little pointy Q-tips, I dip it in like a little thing down here on my easel tray. And it's uh, alum uh, aluminum free, Win uh, ammonia free Windex, and I just run it across there like that, and we're good to go. And so again, oh man, oh man, <sighs> we're gonna get back into here, work my way up, and um, I want this to be kind of you know going back further in. Uh, then the the shapes and forms here, okay. So it's going to be a little bit darker, okay, than this area in here. And pretty basic. I'm not going to get too crazy with the little do lollies in there, but I will darken up. So even the lighter areas are going to be you know darker than this in here. So any cahoots. Here we go. And again, I if I haven't said it yet, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I appreciate my subscribers. It really does mean a lot to me. And um, anyway, yeah, let's give this stuff a... Let's give it a go, man. And again, I'm just going in here and darkening up, you know, some of the areas that... I went over with the stencil just a little bit and I kind of need to take care of this little, I got this, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but we'll kind of erase that. That pencil line, harder edge pencil line there. 
but, uh, yeah, and so we'll do that, and then I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to back off a little bit. What was that? I might have just bumped, a, bumped a little bit. I'm going to back off on the paper a little bit and just... Dust in a little color, you know. So it gives the illusion that it's further back in compared to the surrounding textures and stuff, especially right up. do up in here. I need to think about that too, you know. But I also um, just blow some air on it, make sure it's nice and dry. And I want the values to be all the same, you know, in there, so I will still go in there above some of the darker areas take out a little paint um, just a little bit just to create a little bit more just make it look a little different and so yeah so if this is further out I really want to make sure I get in there and get pull out some of those guys there So now what, you know? Um, uh, let's see, what are we going to do? Work away. So we got, you know, what kind of shape do I want this to have here? Do I want to bring some more uh, cracks around? Like I did this here. Um... So what we're going to do It's ponder a minute So that one in And this is going to be coming out So it's going to be So this little area right here Below my fingertip I want it to be a little bit lighter in value than this here I want to give it the Illusion that this is coming out A little bit more than this shape right here So when I do that, I'm going to go in, again, I'm going to go in and just darken up some of these spots in here. Just a little bit. I might as well just kind of keep, keep going with it. This is just the very early stages, you know. Um, I've yet, you know, 
when I get this completed, I'll come back in with instead of Payne's Gray, you know, I'll use straight up some illustration black and come in and really, you know, really get in there with some dark blacks and um, and whatnot, and that will really help um, with the contrast and really give it a really cool look. But yeah, I'm just going in here and darkening up a lot of these areas that got darkened up for me using the stencil. And over here didn't really, really didn't get hit it with the stencil, so what I am going to do though is is hit it and then I know it's a it's a long slow process and I'll be honest with you guys I didn't know if as far as for videos you know, I don't know you guys prefer a more condensed you know, of me shutting my mouth and just, you know, painting and then speeding it up, you know, to make it a shorter video or what. But another thing too is, is uh, you know, a lot of times I don't have a huge amount of you know, blocks of time to paint. You know, when I come home from work, if I'm going to do it, you know, I might. Yeah, but for about yeah, excuse me, <laughs> Jeez. about an hour. Maybe an hour and a half at a time, and um, you know sometimes on, uh, on the weekends, you know, depending on which weekend it is, you know, we've got grandkids or I got D and D on Sunday, and so. But I also have another passion of called fishing <laughs> that takes up time too. So, um, and so yeah. Anyway, that's a different rant. Okay, so I did that, and I think, okay, so what kind of, you know, shape is this, the overall shape of it? You know, is this going to be sticking out more? Is it going to be more lumpy like that? Um, let's see here. We got the eye bridge coming up. Uh, and that's a good question. How do I want to do that? I think it looks cool though. Um, I think we'll just kind of. Um, this tends to be a little bit darker up in there. Lighter in here. And I got this dark ring right here. So maybe this will be. Maybe over in this area. Okay, so what I'll do is. It's darker in there. That'll be a little bit lighter up in there. So I'm going to step back, darken this whole area up just a little bit, okay? So then that will be a bit lighter, that's going to come out, that's going to be lighter there. This little spot here is going to be darker, a little darker in here and maybe in there. And you see how I'm doing, I'm just kind of... Um, letting the the clumps of darkness <laughs> if that is a technical term please somebody let me know the clumps of darkness uh, determine um, what is going to be more recessed or what's going to be more forward so that's why there was a large group right in here so in this little crescent moon shape area right here so I was like alright I'm darkening that up this will be above it it'll be lighter and so, and then this will be below it, but yeah, coming out. And then, you know, I'll make this a little bit darker in here. So, yeah, cool. I'll just go with that. And so, again, that's one thing I like about doing more fantasy type artwork is, you know, you can just do whatever you want. And um, 
like I'm gonna run like a little uh, a little crack in his skull here. I'm gonna have it go up and then kind of like that. So this area in here is going to be, and I want it to be lighter, but right below it, and it's going to be a lot darker. out right there and then darken that up a little bit little bit hit it with some air help dry it before I go in and I'm gonna go ahead and let's see one of these guys has got a better tip on it and so above some of these I'm gonna hit with a hit with an eraser to lighten them up a little bit Oops. and there it goes no, it's okay I got another one somewhere around here all right slowly but surely we're working away around here yeah this may be a shorter video today than yesterday because I am kind of I'm not 20 no more, and the reality is. <laughs> okay, so I got that there. Um, so that's going to be... digging that. I 
And again, it's just adding, continuing to add. Add paint, taking away paint. Add paint, taking away paint. Add paint, take away paint. Slowly, eventually. <laughs> it goes on, it's never gonna stop, man. So I want this to be a lot, a lot darker in here. Especially. Up in there. But I need, I keep, I think I keep hitting this, hitting the camera here, so. Sorry about that, guys. But I want to go in and really really darken up some of the shapes and stuff in there. Darken up the little cracks and crevices and stuff. And I'm going to pull back a little bit from the, um, from the surface and make sure I, I ain't going to have any tip dry because I want this to be nice and smooth when I spray it. And I want to come back a little bit and... Because this is below this overturned edge right here. I want this up here to be darker. I kind of work my way up in there. closer there so I still want to um, you know add you know take away a little bit in here so that the, the so the value isn't so monotonous Okay, we're going to go in and just a little bit, just above, you know, some of the black marks in there. I'm going to take away just a smidge of paint here and there to break it up so it's not just one, you know, tone like that in there, but still... Overall, it's still darker than right in here. There's still a separation, so you know it, it looks further back in than that right there. But yeah, you know, you never know how stuff like this is going to turn out. Um, you may do it, and you may not even, you know, not even like it, you know. But there's no plan for it. It just kind of happens organically, you know. Kind of cool, man. All right, so this uh, <laughs> it looks like a little ghost. Uh, screaming demon. Um, so I want that to be more raised up. And so, again, the area... I'm going to darken it up. Darken that up 
in there. Darken that up a little bit. Especially, I think I like to darken up right in, in there. And here, I'm going to darken up a lot, a little bit more. Back in there. And there, and there. And you just kind of sit back and take a look at it and, and see what it looks like and make the appropriate changes. Um, you know, if you like it or not. This looks like a side view of a damn goldfish or some shit. I don't know. This little shape right here, his mouth, his eyeball. <laughs> what is this? Finding Nemo? What do we think? <laughs> and you got a daggone little triangle shaped ghost right there. <laughs> uh, what the hell, man? It's kind of funny how stuff like that happens. You don't even realize it. All right. What are we at? A little over half an hour. You know, guys, I'm I'm tired. And I know I just you know it took me half an hour to just do this little section right here, but it is what it is. I want to go get in the pool. It's a nice warm day out today. But again, I appreciate you guys for watching. I imagine you use all my paint in the cup. But um, yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. And uh, um, I again, I appreciate you guys watching, hanging in there with me. And uh, I hope I'm able to, you know, teach somebody something. Um, no, it's okay. always a bonus if, if, if I do uh, help somebody out doing something you know we all gotta learn somewhere all right and uh, um, I know this is probably gonna be one of those you know it's like at this rate this one piece is gonna take me you know you know how many videos is this guy gonna be and the reality is, is, you know what, it's my channel, so I don't really care how many it takes, <laughs> but, uh, um, it is what it is, man. Not everybody's, you know, I don't, I don't do this, you know, for a living, so I don't have eight, ten hours a day, you know, to do, uh, to do airbrush work, you know, um, so I got to squeeze it in here when I can. And yet at the same time, when I get tired, I know it's just time to chill out and relax. And uh, I don't know if the grandkids are going to be here tomorrow when I'm here or not. I know they're coming over to swim, though. Coming over to see Mimi and Papa. But anyway, um, hope you guys enjoy the videos. Um, I enjoy making them, you know. Um, the reason why I started this channel is kind of helped me be more um, proactive in, in my artwork, you know, and help motivate me to, to paint more. Um, we're going to do a little really quick moment here. And I'm going to take the phone off of the little clamp do lolly and try to see if I can't get a little bit closer but see what I was saying there's like a little fish right there my little ghost right there it's just kind of funny how things like that pop up but but yeah it's slowly but surely and again 
I'll zoom, come back out a little bit. Here's my little mount for my, my phone. Just got it clamped onto my easel. I got the paper, you know, taped to some hardboard. You know, it makes also a, a great, um, I don't know if they don't make them anymore, but for those of you old enough, recognize a little stand there for, you know, a, a record player, receiver, and stuff like that, amplifier. Those make great um, painting cabinets. You know, I got all kinds of stuff in there. I keep my airbrushes in there. Um, I keep paints. I even got some daggone D and D figurines down there that are saying, uh, "Excuse me, dude, you need to paint me." I still have a bunch of old um, oil paints and stuff like that. And yeah, so to my right is where I keep my little paper that I, you know, do that, do lolly stuff on there. But, but yeah. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm already digging the, the texture in it and stuff. Love me some texture. Oh man, oh man. And then, you know, on the shelf behind me here is where I got, keep all my paints and stuff like that. And then this is the little dude here that I used to, um, to mix. And I just realized I, I stopped the video there, hit the hit the button. But uh, yeah, Lab Genius man, um, it's not even plugged in yet. But yeah, I'll go over that another day. But all right, dudes. Um, hope everybody has a good night, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video later.